a spherical ball is dropped in a long column of highly viscous liquid the curve in the graph shown which will represent the speed of the ball as a function of time is see let's say this is a spherical ball now if we release this ball then the only one force acts on this spherical ball that is force of gravity so as only one force is acting on this ball for that is force of gravity its speed will increase so initially if i draw a graph here velocity versus time initially due to force of gravity its speed will increase but as soon as this passes through a highly viscous fluid a viscous force start viscous force as well as force of buoyancy starts acting on it which reduces the effect of force of gravity and its speed decreases as time increases so the graph look like this so which matches with the option b so option b is a correct one